Hello everyone, my name is Maximilian K. Egger, and I will present you now a quick overview of our work Relic, a reliability measure for knowledge graph embeddings. First, let us dive into the motivation behind it. In recent years, we have seen a lot of work with knowledge graphs like this one and their embeddings in order to perform various tasks. So far, in order to evaluate the quality or performance of a knowledge graph embedding, you would first need to decide on a given task, like link prediction, for example, and then run that task globally on the full graph embedding to see how well it works. So there is a need and an interest to have a task independent measure that you only need to compute once, as well as a locality aspect due to the differences that you can have among the subgraphs, which we will answer with our metric relic. Given a knowledge graph like the small one we have here, we compute the relic score by checking and collecting the scores of the negative neighborhood of our chosen edge painted. And then we perform a comparison between the embedding scores of the neighborhood as well as the one of the checked edge. This approach gives us some very nice properties, like that it is embedding agnostic. Due to the computation, we are just needing a numerical score function for every embedding which is usually given through the embedding learning function itself. Furthermore, we have the property of learning free. There is no additional training needed, so you can compute the relic scores directly from the embedding itself. In addition, the score is computed in the same way and independently of the task you could be interested in, and it has shown a good correlation between a variety of those downstream tasks. Finally, there are subgraphs that perform better in certain downstream tasks than others, and this is also captured in Relic due to its considerations in the local neighborhood. As one example from our results, I will showcase the complex task of rule mining in a knowledge graph. Given a trans E embedding of Yago 2, we can observe that the Relic scores between positive and negative instances are clearly separated, and that the positives also get higher scores. Whereas if we use reciprocal rank instead of those same instances, we do not get a similar outcome, thus showing the expressiveness Relic can provide. Thank you for watching, and if you're interested, please check out our full paper.